good, not so good, to better looking. Okay, so we can we can admit that that looks better, looks more realistic, and that looks more like a fake blow up doll or something. Uh, doesn't look as realistic. All right. So the next thing we want to do is drive this attribute using the rotation of the joint, and this is a pretty simple concept. So uh, we rotate this. We don't want it to look like that in the default pose because that's not what our model is supposed to look like. The model is supposed to look like this. We only want these corrections to blend in as the jaw opens. So we can do that a couple ways. Let's do the first way using a set driven key. And that's what this demonstration is about. It's uh, taking a practical example and showing you how to, how to use uh, attributes, uh, how, to, how to blend on attribute values. Um, so we're going to uh, go back here and let's just open that up, open that job. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to undo a couple times. All right, so what's the value that we have here? We're at 41.75, all right. And we're going to do a set driven key. So if you go to animation, and this is the, this is the simplest, most common way. This is, a, this is a powerful way because it gives you a, uh, uh, an animation curve that you can use. Instead of uh, animating time uh, across time as an input to the curve, uh, you have an attribute value that inputs into the function curve. Uh, and, and it's completely, at this point in time, a standard way to drive attributes. Um, but uh, and and it's it's common and uh, powerful nonetheless. So because this jaw joint is um, is kind of uh, you know not not a full full degree of freedom uh, joint, which you know you can't really rotate your jaw all around. You can really only rotate it, rotate it up and down. We can actually use the rotation channel to drive the value uh, the weight value directly. Um, now because of Euler angles, if uh, and because of the gimbal problem, we go over here. If this were a full degree of freedom um, joint, and we could rotate your, our joint like this, or if this was some sort of a creature that had, you know, far more complex joint motion, uh, then we could not use that attribute value directly. Because as you can see, if I rotate this 90 degrees, these two axes fall on top of each other. So due to the physiology of the of the human being uh, of the human's joint uh, at the jaw. Of the structure of the joint and the uh, and the, the rotation uh, kind of uh, behavior of the joint, we can use that. We know we can use that that z-axis to drive the corrected shape. It's an important thing to note. You can cannot you can't always use rotation channels to drive uh, values because of the the gimbal lock and Euler angle flipping problem. So um, anyway, I've made that point. So. Now we can uh, load the driver, which is the joint, and it's the rotate Z channel. And then if we go over here and we select the model and we click correct to blend, and then we control click the model and deselects it, we just have that corrected blend selected, and that's the blend shape node. You can also go to, under window animation editors, uh, you can go to the blend shape editor. And uh, you can also select the blend shape um, here select, you have that blend shape selected. So there's a couple ways you can get to that blend shape node. Um, you can also go to the hypergraph, and you can see uh, that you've got the model there, and if you click on it, you can see the graph and the skin clusters here, and you can see that blend shape node is uh, pumping geometry into the skin cluster, and you can select the blend shape there as well. We can see that this model goes into that blend shape node. Okay, so we have our blend shape selected, and we want to load that as the driven. Okay, so male model low res 1. That's the name of this model here. Um, and that's also the blend shape attribute over here um, that we want to drive. Okay. So uh, so when we made the blend shape, it made that attribute. And we will say key. Key at a value of 1. Now we're going to take that jaw and we're going to rotate the rotation to 0. And we're going to take the corrected blend and we're going to set it to 0. And we're going to key that again. Key. Okay, so now, that's it. If we rotate the jaw and it opens, then we get our corrected shape. And if it's closed, we don't get our corrected shape. And that's basically one way to drive an attribute. Okay. If we open the graph editor, 
and if you look at our center of key relationship here um, by selecting the blend shape action and we hit A you can see that there's a linear value from 0 to 1 and it's going in the reverse direction because the jaw joint is going from 0 to negative 40, 1, 0.75 or something like that and uh, yeah, there it is, 41.75 and so instead of time being the driver for the animation curve it's the joint and we can do uh, we can do a lot of things to this curve then we can say insert a key if we want to and uh, we can insert multiple keys if we want to we can grab that key and we can sort of manipulate the uh, the angle and the, the, the way that the the model fix gets blended in. So we can accelerate the uh, the rate at which that model fix gets blended in, or we can decelerate the rate at which that model fix gets blended in. So it blends in a little bit uh, nonlinearly over time. So the way to tweak that is to uh, to add keyframes and change tangents of the um, of the curve that we added. And so if we animate this over time, so we can quickly see uh, how our changes look. So set that to zero and set this to negative 42, let's just say. And uh, that's an auto key is turned on. And we can scrub here and look at that. And if we select over here and select our blend shape, we can then take a look at what it looks like in the in-betweens. And... Uh, and it's a little bit too turned on, I think, at this point. So I'll take this guy and tweak it down a little bit. Maybe it's this tangent that I need to worry about. So that's a little bit better. And now we'll take a look and see how that looks. That looks a little bit more natural. And so that is one way to uh, really control your control uh, attributes by using another attribute to drive it. Okay. So another way to control an attribute by using another attribute to drive it is uh, I'll just delete this set driven key. All right. And I will set this joint to. Uh, over here to so that it's open negative 40 42 and uh, as you can see our shape is no longer being driven so uh, we need to drive that attribute again so you can see when I set the attribute value I get this set adder corrective blend male model low res 1 to the value I set it so I'm going to copy that we're going to make an expression and we're going to use an expression to drive the uh, drive that value on and off this is another way that you can do it. Um, so what we want to do is we want to take the um, corrective blend underscore male model low res one one corrective blend male model low res one. We want to make that equal to that weight value equal to the value of the joint over here, which is a uh, jaw dot rotate z. And let's just do that to start with, just to see what happens. Okay. So everything explodes. And the reason that everything explodes is because this rotation value is negative 42. So we're doing, uh, we're doing some crazy things here, but you can see that it's driving that blend shape attribute. It's just not driving it the way that we want. So let's go ahead and look at our expression here and say, okay, if we have jaw rotate z, and right now 